Hi, it's Stephanie Ferrer. I'm the Marketing Manager of Blisas, and I'm filling in for Sir Yong today. If you're using Adobe Premiere and you'd like to try DaVinci Resolve, then this video is perfect for you. Here's an easy and quick tutorial to help you transition from Premiere to Resolve. In Premiere, we start by creating a new project. Then go to File. Under New, select Project. Type a project name appropriate for the video. Then hit OK. Next, we import media by going to your folder containing the videos. Then dragging selected files to the project. Then drag the imported media to the timeline below. We can move the slider below to navigate across the timeline. We can zoom in or out by dragging the circle end of this slider. Similar to Premiere, we start by opening DaVinci Resolve and selecting New Project. Type a project name appropriate for the video, then hit Create. Right-click Media Pool, then select Import Media. Select the videos you'd like to edit and hit Open. If a message asking to change the frame rate pops up, simply select Change. Drag imported media to the timeline. Drag the indicated slider to zoom the timeline in or out. Drag the bottom slider to navigate across the timeline. Navigating through Premiere's timeline is simple. Press spacebar to play or pause. Press J to shuttle left. Press L to shuttle right. The same can be seen in DaVinci Resolve as well. Press spacebar to play or pause. Press J to shuttle left. Press L to shuttle right. For the tools in Premiere, we use the Move tool, shortcut by hitting V, to move anything within the timeline. We use the Cut tool, shortcut by hitting C, to separate the video into two. This is useful for deleting unwanted footage or separating the video into two scenes. We use the Hand tool, shortcut by hitting H, to also move across the timeline. Here's an example of using these tools to cut and piece together footage. First, we use the Cut tool to separate unwanted footage in each clip. Then select the cut video and press Delete. Now, we use the Move tool to piece together the two videos. Similarly, in DaVinci Resolve, we cut with the Blade tool, shortcut B, to separate the video into two. Then select the unwanted footage and press Delete. We piece together videos by using the Selection tool, Shortcut P. For adding captions to our videos, we use the Text tool by pressing the shortcut T and clicking on the Program window. Then you can type the text. In this case, we type Scene 1. We can cut this text in the timeline using the Cut tool. And deleting the excess.
to change the properties of the text, we first select the text in the timeline. Under Effect Controls, press Text. Here, we can change the font, size, and color of what we just created. It's recommended to add stroke in your text to make the text easier to read. Then we repeat the same steps for the other video. In Resolve, we add captions by first going to Toolbox, then Titles. Drag Text Plus to the timeline. And then drag one end to shorten the duration of the text. To change the properties of the text, we first click the inspector and type any text on the field. In the inspector, font, size, and color can also be changed. It's recommended to add shading to make text easier to read. Under Settings, size and position of the text can also be adjusted. Then, we repeat the steps for the other video. In order to render a video in Premiere, we first press O at the end of the video, and then I at the start of the video. Under File, go to Export then press Media. We can change the format to either H.264 or Apple ProRes. We can change the output name and file location by clicking on the blue text. Then click Export and wait for the video to render fully. We can now play back our rendered video. In Resolve, we render our video by first going to the Deliver tab with the rocket symbol. Here, we can also change the file name and location of our video. For Codec, we can change it to either H.264 or Apple ProRes. Then click Add to Render Queue. Click Render 1 to start rendering and wait for the video to render fully. We can now play back our rendered video. To change the keyboard shortcuts in Premiere, go to Premiere Pro and click Keyboard Shortcuts.
Here we see a list of keyboard shortcuts, and you can change the keyboard mapping in this window. Hovering over keys will show a short description of what each shortcut will do. Similar to Premiere, we go to DaVinci Resolve and click Keyboard Customization. As you can see, both look very similar, wherein we see a list of keyboard shortcuts as well as being able to change the keyboard mapping. In Premiere, we can add music or audio by importing it first in the same manner we import videos. Then we drag the imported audio below the timeline. Next, we only want a portion of the audio, so we cut and delete unused audio. In Resolve, we start by also importing the audio or music. A shortcut would be to simply drag the audio from your file explorer to the timeline. Afterwards, we cut and delete unused audio. To add movement or change the size of our video, we first select our clip. Then, under Effect Controls, we can change the position, size, and even rotate our video. To add movement, we make sure the clip is selected and is at the start of the footage. Then press the stopwatch and scale. Next, we go to the end of the clip and press the diamond icon and scale. Afterwards, we increase the value of the scale. Play back from the start to check the animation works. Meanwhile, in Resolve, we first go to the Fusion tab. Press Shift and Space at the same time, then type Transform. Disconnect Media In and Media Out. Afterwards, connect Media In to Transform and connect Transform to Media Out. Under Transform, we can do the same things that were shown earlier in Premiere. We can change the position and size as well as add movement to our video. To add movement, make sure to be at the start of the clip, then press the diamond in size. Next, go to the end of the clip, then press the diamond in size once more. We increase the value of size here to simulate a zoom in. Now, we play back from the start to check that the animation works. In Premiere, we can change the color of our video by going to the Color tab. On the left, you can see the Lumetri scopes, which show information about the video's color. Under Color Wheels, we can change brightness by adjusting the sliders. Under Creative, we can change the color, hue, and saturation of our selected footage. Adjusting the color is also possible by dragging the color wheel.
Similarly, in DaVinci Resolve, we go to the Color tab. In the Color tab, we can also change the brightness, color, hue, and saturation of our footage. We hope that was helpful for you. You can even comment your edited video below so we can check it out. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. As always, thank you and we appreciate your support. See you next time!